What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my bar for another chat. So now that summer is coming to a close, this was the perfect time to do another one of those sort of seasonal favorites videos. So go ahead, grab yourself a nice beverage, kick back, relax, and let's have a bit of a chat about some of my absolute favorite products that I've been using for the last few months. So this time I don't actually have any skin products in my favorites and that's only because I've been using the same like all keels lineup for the last few months and I'm just really still loving it so nothing new to report there so this is all going to be hair products. So I figure we will start in the shower arena and then we'll go to pre-stylers and then post-stylers and finishers. So starting out in the shower arena, we have Pure Shampoo and Conditioner by the Salon Guy. Now, um, these are actually brand new bottles because my other ones are gone. <laughs> um, I've been using these pretty much exclusively all summer since they dropped. And I can tell you honestly that they've like kind of changed my life. <laughs> like, um, my hair has never felt healthier. Um, I've done a full review of these already, so if you haven't seen it, I'll put it up in the card up in the corner there. Um, definitely check that out and definitely check out Pure. They really, my hair just feels super healthy and moisturized and just clean and it, yeah, they're just fucking awesome. Next, in the same vein, we have Body, which is the Salon Guy's new body wash. Um, this came out a little bit after Pure and Body washes were never something that I really ever was like, oh yeah, let me get like a nice body wash. It was always, you know, let's go to Target and buy whatever $3 Irish Spring, whatever. Um, but I've since used a few like higher end body washes and it really is totally worth your money. And this one in particular, this is um, the scent on this is... honestly like heaven it's it's hard to describe but on the on the back it says uh, it's infused with the scents of jojoba orange plum and bergamot um that definitely sounds about right it's light it's clean it's fresh and it's very unisex so anybody can use it it's not you know only for men or anything um and as far as the actual wash on it it just it feels like a luxury soap, like it lathers really creamy and nice and it makes your skin feel super clean but also really moisturized, not dry at all and it just, it's very like soothing, it's just really fucking good. So if you're in the market for a new body wash and you want to try something really nice, definitely give that a go. And before anybody asks, because I know somebody is going to, no, this video is not sponsored, no, Steven and I are not working together and no, this entire lineup is not all of his products, but the dude makes some fucking amazing stuff, um, so check him out. All right, moving next into pre-stylers. Now, this is something that I haven't been using this all summer, to be honest, but I kind of have. Um, this is called The Shield. It's from Amica. This is their anti-humidity spray. And this is something that you actually, it, it tells you to spray it into your hair before heat treating it. It's heat activated and it's exactly what it says it is. It's basically just designed to keep your hair looking nice and smooth and to help combat humidity. And Connecticut has been so fucking humid all summer. Uh, so this has been a lifesaver. Now, I said I haven't, I kind of haven't been using it all summer because we, my wife and I recently just picked this up, but our stylist Sam uses this on both of us in the salon all the time and it just works amazing and so we were finally like yeah you know what we need that for the house so this is another one that is a pretty unisex smell it's definitely sweeter it just kind of smells like candy it smells really good um just a little bit of a spray into your hair before blow drying or before you know straightening it or something and it really does do a nice job of sealing out the humidity and helping to combat frizz all right now we can move on to everybody's favorite category of post stylers so first up is the Stickmore Clay Fiber. This is just a really, really phenomenal, versatile clay. Um, it just works great. It has an easy application, but it has a nice strong hold to it. The texture is great. The volume's really good. Um, and the kind of fibrous qualities of it allow you to 
use it a little bit as a pre-styler even into damp air before blow drying if you'd like. I have also done a full proper review on this, so I'll pop that right up there. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, just a really fucking solid clay. Next up is another newer edition. I've only been using this for a few weeks now, but I it's like so good that I wanted to mention it. And that's Patrick's M2. Um, I am definitely going to be doing a full review on this, uh, but it just, it's luxury as fuck. I mean, it's expensive, and but it's kind of like a get what you pay for type of situation. So I've been very, very pleasantly surprised with that. Um, and I've seen, like, I haven't really seen many other reviews or anything for M2. Everybody seems to go for M3, which is the stronger hold one. This is like a medium hold product. Um, but it says in the description that this is good for uh, short to medium length thick hair. So that sounded like it was a little more up my street than M3. Um, so I went with that one and I'm really happy that I did because it's freaking fantastic. It's not quite a clay. Um, it What is this? It's really like... A, a wax more than a clay um, but it, it has a bergamot and sandalwood cologne scent fuck me up it smells so good um, it just works really well great matte finish really light in the hair nice texture and it washes out like nothing with just water so yeah I've been very very impressed with M2 and once again definitely look forward to seeing a full proper review on that in the near future and lastly in the world of post stylers we have what has become one of my absolute all-time favorite oil-based clays and that is the Fuertes styling clay from the Fuertes hair studio down in Charlotte North Carolina um, this stuff is just unfucking believable it's just super lightweight in the hair it applies like butter there's no tug and pull whatsoever but it and it feels really light but it still has like a nice medium firm hold to it um, the sweet orange and lavender scent is great. This is another one that I've done a full review on, so again, I'll pop that up there if you haven't seen it already. But honestly, this is in a similar vein to the Pure Shampoo and Conditioner. This clay has, like, changed my hair health. Um, it just... It, it's like doing a hair mask. Like, it makes your hair feel so soft, but it's not overly oily or anything. I find it very easy to wash out as well. Um, and it just makes my hair feel really smooth and healthy. And even, you know, I mentioned in the review that uh, I went to the salon with this in my hair and even my stylist Sam was like, wow, your hair feels really good. Like, what have you been using? So yeah, uh, Fuerte Styling Clay, another one that this is, to me, it's like luxury. It's just an amazing, amazing clay and absolutely worth every penny. All right, so we pretty much flew through most of these. Now, last but certainly not least, we have this locked hairspray from the salon guy. I, I guess this is kind of like its own category because I don't consider finishers to be necessarily post stylers. Like I don't normally use a hairspray by itself. Um, so I, I would call this kind of like a, I guess what you would call a finisher, like af, post post styler. I don't know, whatever. It's a hairspray. Um, but I wanted to mention this one because it's different. This is a matte hairspray and it's moldable. So it's, it's a pliable hairspray which is very uncommon, I find. I don't really know of many other um, moldable hairsprays. So when this was first coming out, I was having a chat with Steven and the way that he described this to me was that it's kind of like a dry shampoo with hold. And now that I've been using it for months, that description, it, you, like you can't describe it better than that. That's perfect. Um, because it does like the matte effect of it is kind of like a dry shampoo. So I've even used this, like if I have uh, an oil-based clay or whatever in my hair and I'm on second day hair and it's like a little bit too oily and it's lost some of its hold, instead of using dry shampoo, I'll just use some of this and the matte effect of it does kind of remove some of that excess oil. So it helps to remove, you know, the excess shine and stuff and it adds the hold back in. Now, this is only a medium hold hairspray, so it's not gonna be super strong or anything, um, but it, it is moldable, so you can spray it in and then all day long you can just kind of move it around and restyle it or whatever. Um, you know, normally you wanna spray in a hairspray and then just leave it alone, but that's not the case with this stuff. So I like it because it's different um, and it is kind of like a two-in-one dry shampoo and hairspray. 
So I guess that does it for my summer favorites. Um, I mean, I've granted I've used a shitload of products this summer, but so I just wanted to take a few of like my real absolute favorites because um, I think that every single one of these are products that you guys should definitely check out if you're interested. Now, with that being said, I did just get the whole range of the Apothecary 87 products and oh my god i've only tried a few of them so far but fuck me up they are awesome uh, so i'm very much looking forward to doing some videos on those i actually um uh, i've already just finished shooting a first impressions of their clay pomade i've also got their matte paste i've got two of their um, i've got like their oil based and their water based pomade a bunch of beard oils beard balm shaving stuff um, so expect a number of apothecary 87 reviews and other type of videos coming very soon as well so I guess that about wraps things up for this summer favorites video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. I really, really do recommend all of these products, so definitely give them all a try. I do have a ton, a ton of stuff in my queue to do for this channel, so if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that upcoming content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one. Cheers.